Lee, welcome back to Birmingham City Football Club. Um, I presume it's been a bit of a whirlwind 24, 48 hours for you. Sum up your feelings for us as you sit here now as the new Blues head coach. Um, excited uh, for one being back and most importantly to be in charge of this football club. Um, it's an honour, massive club, club that I've got a relationship, a past relationship with. So, uh, so yeah, I feel I feel honoured to be sitting here as, as the new manager. How big a decision was it to leave Charlton? Because you've obviously been there for a few years, thought of very highly there. So, why at this stage in your career was this the right move? Um, obviously, it was it was tough. It was it was tough to to leave Charlton. I've we've created a lot of good memories, um, and and. Charlton fans hadn't had their memories for a long time, and and when I went there, it was in a bad place when I took over, and um, I was able to turn that around. And I've done three years there, and when I had the opportunity to come here, then it's it was tough, but for me, it was the right time for me to move on. A new challenge. Um, I understand it's going to be a challenge. Um, I accept that, but that's the person I am. I, I love a challenge and, and, and I have to keep pushing myself. I feel that I can help the club and I think I've done that at Charlton. Improved the place um, and, and I believe I can do the same here. If I didn't, I wouldn't be sitting here now. So uh, I'm coming into it with a good squad of players, I believe. And there's still 10 games to go and, and there's a lot of football to be played. And I believe I can get these, these players going again. Even in this short space of time that I've been here, I've seen a good reaction. So um, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow because of that. You mentioned our current predicament with 10 games remaining. It's going to take a big effort from, from everyone involved, not just the players, staff and everyone pulling in the, in the same direction. Huh? Yeah, it's important with a football club, like I said. Going back to Charlton, when I first took over there, the, the fans and the players, they had this distance. Um, the staff, everyone was down. Charlton had been on a bad run before I took over. And, and, and it's the same here. Obviously, we ain't got the fans. I know they would play a massive part. And, and I've said before, like it's a shame that, that they can't play that part. But the most important thing, us as a group, and, and, and when I say group, I mean Birmingham City, we have to pull together now because the running is tough. There's no getting away from that. But if we all pull together, then we've shown before at this club, when I was here as a player, that anything is possible. So, yeah, like I said, we can try and try and improve. And if we do that, then, then I believe we've got a good chance. Does your vision for this football club, does your planning go beyond what happens between now and May or is everything geared up towards these next 10 games? No, it's the, the next 10 games are the most important. Wednesday, tomorrow is the most important game. And then you go to Saturday and I think we have to tick one box at a time. But for me, the bigger picture is, is the most important. Um, I sat down with the owner this afternoon and, and he said some kind words and I said, look, I'm here. I want to be here for a long time and, and I want to help get this club back to where it belongs. And um, so, yeah, I signed the, the lengthy contract that I did because I didn't want to just be here for a little while and, and just come and go. I, I want to be part of it. I know what, what the possibilities are here and, and I want to be the one in charge of that. I'm sure there's, there's lots you'd like to address at the football club immediately, <coughs> but what has to be your priorities, particularly with this group of players now? To... to change their mindset as in like you're good like it's plain and simple that's my first task like can I remind them and persuade them and show them that they're good pass on information that I know improves players as individuals and then if you improve them as individuals then that's going to improve them as a group so I've done that I'm proven to do that and I'm going to do the same here Everything I'm going to tell the players is going to improve them. Like, I have no doubt. So um, if I can do that and they take that on board and they're good players already, then there's only one way that, that, that things can go. So, uh, But it, we don't have long 
and we have to quickly adjust and and, uh, and, and compete. I think that's the, the, the most important thing, especially here. Like we must make it difficult to come here and leave with anything uh, with other teams. So, and that starts tomorrow. Have you sensed that the players needed lifting? Have you had to inject some some light-hearted fun into the group, or have you been surprised by the atmosphere? No, obviously they seemed a bit down, um, which is understandable, because all players want to do is is win games, like like. We do as staff, like fans do, you just want to win games. And when it doesn't go your way for a while, then it becomes disheartening. And um, they're no different, you know, they're human beings. And the most important thing is that now it's change. And when change comes, then that gives everyone a different mindset. Players that haven't been involved, they get this mindset, well, I might get a chance now and it becomes competition for places. Again, another thing that's going to improve them, because without my help, they're going to push each other, and, and that's important. So, as a group, they they have to move and, and, and push in the right direction. In terms of your managerial style, <coughs> are there any characteristics, or the, what are the hallmarks of a, a Lee Bowyer team, other than winning football? Hard work. Hard work, is the, I, I was that as a player. And, and, and I, I demand that from, from my team. A togetherness, a fighting spirit, never roll over. And, and I said to him yesterday in the meeting, I don't mind sharing, that the most important thing for me is if you walk off the pitch and can look me and, and your teammate beside you in the eye and say, I gave you everything, that's all I can ever ask for. Because I know they're gonna make mistakes but the most important thing is how they react to that mistake. When I say react, I mean, are they gonna now go and win the ball back? And, and that's what I'll be looking for. You had a fantastic career here, as, well not just here, but as a player in general. How different is management? Highs and lows, like I said, I've, I've had some, some good times and some bad. Um, but I think I've learned a hell of a lot in, in the three years because it's, I guarantee managers ain't had to deal with what I've had to deal with in, in ten years, what I've had to deal with in three. So, uh, but again, it makes me stronger. I'm a, I'm a strong person. Um, so yeah, I've, I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot and I, I will keep learning. Um, but the most pleasing thing for me is to see the players smile see them take on board the information that I'm passing on and see them improve. My job is to improve the players. If I improve the players, the team gets better. Okay, you lose players from doing that and I've lost a lot. Um, but that just shows that I'm doing my job right because the information I'm passing on is improving them and, and that's what I'm going to be doing here. Are you at an advantage because you have been here when <coughs> things have been going particularly good, part of the Carly Cup winning squad of course 10 years ago. So you know, if you can turn this place around, just what a juggernaut Birmingham City Football Club can be. Yeah, and that was the reason why I wanted a, a, a long-term contract, because I know what the possibilities are. I know it's, it's where it can go. Like, we, we played in the Prem, and, um, and, and I know what this stadium can be like. It's, it's a difficult place to come. Like, we, we've witnessed that in the Cup and, and, and in the league, you know? So... Um, Fans play a massive part next season. Hopefully that will all change and, and then we can really start pushing on. But again, focus on this one and then the plan is to, to keep improving. From what I understand, uh, since I left, the, the, the team's never been in the top ten, which is crazy. With the good squads and players that have been in and out of these doors, that, 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 I, I can't get my head around that. So. My step is to improve step by step and, and, and try and push the, the club back into the right direction. You mentioned the fans a couple of times already. That day at the Valley last season, away fans were yeah. singing your name, even though you were the opposition manager at the time. Did that stick with you? Yeah, it doesn't happen very often. Um, so yeah, I was grateful for that. Obviously, I have that connection with the fans already because of being a player here in the past, but uh, yeah. Give me goosebumps, and um, I, was, I was really grateful. And uh, hopefully, I can repay them uh, in the time that I'm here. 
Craig Arner, of course, former teammate of yours. How much have you lent on, on him already at your time at the club? Uh, Craig's important because, again, he, he was a player when I was playing. I know him. Um, he knows the players. He knows the squad and, and, and strengths and weaknesses because every squad has that. And in a short space of time, I, I need as much information as I can. I can judge the players, but in this short space of time, I need a bit of guidance as well. And, and Craig and, and all the staff, they, they, they've all been great. And um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying my time, like just, just seeing old faces again. But Craig is uh, Craig's going to be important, especially from now to the end of the season. Full steam ahead to Reading then on Wednesday. Have you had time to prepare and have a look at them yet? Yeah, I, I watched them yesterday. Um, they're a good side, obviously, sitting fifth in the, in the table. Um, they've changed formation the last three games. They have a good football inside. They've got people up top that can hurt you. Um, but they also have weaknesses. So my job is to stop their strengths and hurt them with their weaknesses. And we, we went through some stuff with the, the starting 11 today. And they took on board everything that I said and they're confident. So again, they're a group that want to improve and show. And uh, so yeah, all the information that they have now then, then there's no reason why we can't, we can't do well tomorrow. We wish you the very best of luck in the role and look forward to following you every step of the way. Yeah, thank you.